Finally, a tablet you can take into the bath with you. It's from Sony. Welcome to Digits. I'm Simon Constable, and Katie Barrett has been looking at this tablet, and she joins us now from Washington, D.C. Katie, thanks for being there. Thanks for having me, Simon. Tell us about this tablet, this uh, aquatic tablet, anyway. <laughs> yes, aside from the fact that you can use this in up to three feet of water for 30 minutes, it is water resistant. Uh, it is the thinnest tablet out there. So it's thinner than the iPad. It's even thinner than the iPad mini, which is saying a lot. And it's lighter than the full size iPad. So people who really care about design and build will like this a lot. It's an Android based device. And a lot of the other tablets that have been out from Android aren't exactly desirable. They're either too long or too wide or just feel awkward in your hand. They're very heavy. So I think Sony really zeroed in on design here. So it looks like it from from everything that I've read and, and seen this looks great. The the being able to take it in in the bath that's great. There is a problem though <laughs> that you found and that what is it was its battery life, right? Tell us about that. Right, so we run a pretty standard, very harsh battery test on all of our tablets that we test. And it is to keep the Wi-Fi on so you collect email in the background, uh, to have the screen at about 75% brightness and to play a continuous loop of video. And we've run that test on every tablet we've ever tried out, including the iPad. With the iPad, that test resulted in 11 and a half hours of battery life. And with the Sony Xperia Tablet Z, it only got five and a half hours of battery life. So that could be a real problem for people who love video and want to kind of push this tablet to its limits. As I used it in daily life, I didn't have a problem. I didn't run out of battery unexpectedly, but uh, some people might have a bit of a problem if they are very heavy users and they love that video. Now, we have heard over the years about people bringing out tablets and saying this is going to be the, the one that can compete with the iPad, which really has, seems to have dominated um, from day day one, this, this particular part of the market. Do you think this one can actually perform where others haven't and, and really compete against the iPad? I do. You know, it's funny. We forget that the iPad came out three years ago. It's not like it came out six months ago or last year. It's three years in the making, and we've still not seen something that's even rivaled it. So when you think about a tablet, there's really not a tablet market. It is the iPad, and that's kind of the desirable tablet. And I think Sony really realized people do care about design in these things. It's not necessarily a product you have to have, right? It's not your smartphone. It's not your laptop. It's it's kind of an extra product. So they really wanted to make it sexy and they did a great job. And you know, Sony has been out of the conversation here for a while. They've needed a mobile technology product for consumers. And this might be just the ticket for them to get back in the game. Now, I, uh, Katie, you, you mentioned the iPad being three years old. I still have one of the original iPads. I use it. There is one thing about it. It's rather heavy if you're holding it up um, to, to, to yeah. read something from it for a while. Sony's obviously got over that with the lightness thing, and the lightness yeah. thing was somewhat solved by iPad with the, the mini version, the mini version, the, the right. much smaller one. Does this really get around that weight problem in, in a way that will have people saying, yeah, you know, I like the large format, but I don't like the weight? Yeah, I think so. I had this in my bag at our D conference all last week, everywhere I went, and I didn't notice it. So I think that says a lot. I, if I carry my iPad, regular size iPad with me, I do notice it. I'm aware that I have it in my bag, and I didn't notice it with the Sony tablet. So that could make a big difference for people. Uh, you know, it's a plastic back rather than the iPad's brushed aluminum back. So some people might not like the feel of that plastic. It could be a little bit flimsy or cheap feeling, but I I think that the weight exchange is really worthwhile here. And, and that picture that we were just seeing, man in the bath, I think that, uh, that <laughs> is very appealing to me. All you need is a bottle of champagne and uh, good, good, good book to read on, uh, on an app there. Thank you very much, Katie Barrett. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Simon. I'm Simon Constable, and that was Digits.